Ken Paxton is going to be facing a trial in the Senate, the Texas Senate, because um, the Texas House delivered the impeachment papers, what was it, yesterday or two days ago. Um, and I'll tell you what you do uh, when you're Ken Paxton at that point. You go, you talk to Steve Bannon about it, um, because... <laughs> That's what, uh, and here he is. Uh, this is Ken Paxton. I, I don't know if he, if this is a slow moving unraveling of Ken Paxton, the next month and a half is going to be pretty fun. I guess it has to be, uh, the Senate trial has to happen by, uh, August 28th. Um, just FYI for the house that impeached him. It's uh, 85 Republicans and 65 Democrats. So. That's right. Whew. They weren't doing this. They're calling it Democrats and liberals. Right. But right. Yeah. It was all. Well, rhinos, I guess. You know those Texas state rhinos that yeah. we see? Here we go. It, it's um, certainly critical to my state, and that's why we fought off these 12 lawsuits. We had them in Houston. We had them in San Antonio. We had them in, in Austin. We had them in the counties where you'd have the most liberal judges. And it was a concerted effort nationally with lots of money going into it. And just knowing that we had 12 losses that we had to win, and if we had lost one of them, like we lost Harris County, Trump won by 620,000 votes in Texas. Harris County mail-in ballots that they wanted to send out were 2.5 million. Those were all illegal, and we were able to stop every one of them. Had we not done that, we would have been in the very same situation. We would have been on election night. I, I was watching election night, and I knew when I saw what was happening in these other states, that that would have been Texas. We would have been in the same boat. We would have been one of those battleground states that they were counting votes in Harris County for three days and Donald Trump would have lost the election. In other words, what Ken Paxson is saying, um, if you don't have someone like me to go in and inhibit the ability of people to vote in 12 counties mm. in Texas, Donald Trump is going to lose this time around. This is almost a an active plea for a contribution for his uh, his impeachment defense fund. Yeah. yeah, Trump has been super vocal on Truth Social defending Paxton. I wonder why. I wonder seemed, why. It's, if important. I was Trump, I'd be like, uh, I, sorry, I would have won Texas without you, but I guess they're like, you know, thieves. There's honor among thieves here, I think. Well, yeah. he wants more of this kind of thought process in the party, which is like, I want people uh, behind the levers of power who are going to swing the election in my favor. Um, so he said Harris County there. You wrote, Bradley, that that's like, that's the county that has Houston in it. Mm -hmm. um, where are we at on the status? I've been out for a few days of that like Mississippi style uh kind of oversight into what Houston decides to uh, do in terms of self-governance. Like Texas, this is going to be a part of, this is a bit of an aside, but Texas seems to be copying what they're doing in Mississippi as it relates to Jackson, Home which rule. is that um, interfering with majority black cities' ability to govern themselves. Yeah, I got final approval this Sunday by the there Texas legislature, go. and it now heads to uh, get Greg Abbott's desk to sign. It literally, the bill... Um, SB 1750 was crafted so that it applies only to Harris County, which encompasses Houston, one of the most populous uh, counties in the in that state. Oh, but the rhino, but this is like the rhino party, right? The, yeah. the rhino Republicans yeah, the that impeached <laughs> Ken Paxton, they also passed this, you know, that makes sense. Um, the real authoritarianism, though, is at Oberlin College when they uh, when they when they're mad because uh, there's the they're instituting it, you know, they want uh, more uh, inclusive inclusivity, lunches, you know, lunches. Yeah. When, they, when they serve paella. That's where uh, authoritarianism is.